you've done a number of things going back to your first experience compare it to maybe your I think you said fourth maybe you're on your fourth company or you, you have done four companies mm -hmm. what changed between those two experiences maybe it was like you learned some things that may yeah. you know like what's the difference between those experiences actually um, so first of all I think when you start your company when you first start out um, you have nothing by way of experience in terms of what it is like to be in a startup. <laughs> and I think you have some experiences yes, here. Yes. Actually, one, one analogy that I've worked with over the years in terms of startups is it's like surfing. Okay? You're in the waves. You've got a board. Yeah. Okay. And your board is your idea. And one thing that you'll realize pretty quickly is you, you cannot control when the waves come. You have no ability, right? Yeah. And when the wave comes, you've got to get on the board, you've got to surf, and there's reefs and everything else underneath there, right? And so you can't control timing. You're in very precarious situation at all times, and it goes up and down a lot, sometimes several times a day. Yes. You can say, oh, there was a great sales meeting. You walk out, go to the next one, and you get kicked out of the meeting because you're pro <laughs> or something, right? Yeah. And so actually what I do is every day or actually twice a day, I record an in uh, a number between 1 and 10. Just how I'm feeling, right? And almost is that in personally or like the company? Me, just me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's just me and what I know about the company, right? Yeah. yeah. And and in general, because I'm, I think most entrepreneurs are kind of glass half full types, right? If I have anything, you can do it if you're glass. So you know, for me, generally in the morning, it's an eight or a nine, right? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty feeling pretty good, and this, and I want to keep a bit of in reserve for the end of the day. You know, often something bad will happen, so I'll write down a, a five or a four or something, and then you know, then there's this battle to get it back up, mm -hmm. right? And what you find as an entrepreneur is it's not about you. That is, as an entrepreneur, every day you go in and you get on your knees and you breathe life into this thing which would yeah, die yeah. without you. Yeah, yeah. It's not about you. You could be feeling terrible. You could have just heard that you failed to raise money or whatever, but you've got a bunch of employees who are depending on you or whatever it happens to be, and you've got to breathe confidence into them and you've got to keep the thing moving forward. That's incredibly difficult to do. Yeah. Very, very difficult. And I think for, for entrepreneurs, once you get to that stage when you're building a company, you have to have somebody else yeah. you, that you as the entrepreneur can lean on yeah. because it is unbelievably brutal. Yeah.